Dallas, Oklahoma is the state's southwesternmost town. It's a small place, only a population of about 2,000, but its star power shines pretty big. College football legend Daryl Royal was born here, as was Terry Stafford, the songwriter known for songs like Amarillo by Morning. But Hollis's biggest star stuck around, and today Gallery America is talking with the local cowboy Kent Rollins about food. Kent has over a million subscribers on his YouTube channel. He's cooked for TV shows and celebrities and published cookbooks. And today, he's sharing the one recipe he thinks all of Oklahoma should be making now. But first, I'd like to find out how did Kent get from cows to cooking? My mother taught me to, to cook when I was about seven, eight years old. And uh, we always had a, had a lot of cattle. And um, my mother would want to go sometimes to help. And I would think it'd be a whole lot warmer in that house than it would be horseback when it's five degrees outside, you know. So uh, she'd, she'd show me my way around the kitchen and I'd do pretty good. But uh, I never knew I was going to have to wash dishes to start out with or I probably would never started cooking. Kent's YouTube videos are shot and edited by his wife, Shannon. He says he always begins with the kind of recipes he grew up with, but he's not afraid to try out new things, too. I might take an old recipe that my mother had long many years ago or something out of the depression and then change it up to where I think it really fits. And uh, some of it don't make the curve. You know, there's some that the Beagle Dog says, hey, this ain't good. My mother always told me it's the joy of cooking is not actually the cooking. It's what you see on people's face after they eat. My mother was never fond of snake. And uh, we, we deep fry a rattlesnake, did a video on it not long ago. And we've learned uh, through the years, I've been around a lot of great Mexican and Spanish cooks that, that taught me the value of dried chilies. When you can rehydrate them and mix them into a food that you're cooking, it brings so much great flavor to it. For Kent, the whole point is cooking outdoors. He has a chuck wagon, he's cooked in hailstorms, tornadoes, earthquakes, and he feels it's worth the risk for the camaraderie to eat with friends and families outside. Uh, it's getting that time of year to fire up the grill. And, uh, you know, my, my daddy always told me, Robert, when I was little, he'd say, uh, we don't eat a lot of meat. We raise it, we sell it. But he said, we eat a lot of bologna. Uh, we did a smoked bologna video not long ago. And folks, you can get five pounds of all beef bologna and you will change that bologna so much that you'll think it's a Christmas ham or Thanksgiving. I mean, it is the best stuff I've ever eaten in my life. It's got a, a good jalapeno sort of honey caramelized glaze that goes on top and three hours on a smoker and you sit around in the backyard with your friends and you get to visit and fellowship. Bless the good Lord for what you got, eat the bologna and hey, even then you're full of bull. But one last question for Ken, who would he want most in all of history to cook that bologna for? I, I'd like to cook for old Jimmy Stewart. Uh, you know, he's played in a lot of Western movies, but he was a man with a big heart also. You know, him and, uh, and this one's a little off the wall. I'm gonna throw two in there, but um, rather than be Mr. Rogers, you know, because he done so many great things for so many people. Kent's new book, Faith, Family, and the Feast, came out March 17th. You can learn about it and get his recipes at kentrollins.com and see his new videos twice a week on his YouTube channel. To see more Gallery America Talks with Oklahoma artists like this, be sure to follow us on Instagram at OETA Gallery. Thank you so much for watching. Stay arty, Oklahoma.